I'm really tired. Didn't get much sleep last night. So yeah, I'm too tired to explain why I'm so tired. But don't worry, it's it's for good reasons-ish. But anyway, I won't, I'll get into that later maybe. But I'm not too tired to make a video. Greetings one and all, and welcome back to Tom's Hit Parade. Uh, let's do a bargain bag, why don't we, huh? Uh, partly because I'm too tired to make the video I wanted to film today, but also I'm totally prepared to do a bargain bag, so carpe diem, right? Seize the day. Anyway, uh, yes, bargain bag, for those of you who don't know, is my monthly hunt for buried audio treasures in the form of two, count them, one, two, mystery CD grab bags from the late Skips Records and CD World. Uh, seven discs in each bag, count them, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, for a total of 14. Funny how math works, isn't it? Anyway, uh, between the two bags, I will talk about a CD that I have found or that you may be likely to find in a the bargain uh, section of a retailer near you, record store, thrift store, wherever you go to buy music. Uh, but before the bags, I break down what was in the last month's pair of bargain bags uh, in rough order from cast-offs to keepers, as I like to call them. So uh, let's go ahead and get started. This shouldn't take long because almost half of these were classical. Spoiler alert. Uh, the first one I did not listen to only because I already have it. Measure of a Man, the debut album by Clay Aiken. Uh, one of the better American Idol debut CDs. Uh, it's been my experience anyway. So, good stuff. If you just like good, nice, good pop music with a little tiny bit of soul, because Clay Aiken has a nice soulful voice, check it out. Then we, any, and then we have five classical CDs. Uh, I'm not going to say much about them, because what can you say about classical music, really? We have Build Your Baby's Brain. I don't have a baby uh, whose brain I need to build, so uh, for that reason as well as because this is basically a, a pretty standard classical compilation. All of the probably the best known pieces of classical music are on this CD, so if you're, if you're just starting to build your classical collection, you could do a lot worse than that CD. And then uh, this one, I was tempted to keep it uh, just because Aaron Copland is one of my favorite classical composers, but this is Billy the Kid and Rodeo, I believe, the complete, yeah, the complete ballets of both. But um, honestly, there was enough stuff on here that was kind of uninteresting that uh, I'm totally comfortable with just having the hits or the more famous passages from those, so that's going to be a cast-off. Then we have Beethoven with Christoph von Donani, I think that's how you pronounce it. Not bad, you know. And then we have a uh, uh, another Beethoven collection with Rubinstein and the Boston Symphony Orchestra. And then a Mozart compilation with the London Symphony Orchestra, probably one of the best orchestras out there. If you're going to get a piece of a classical album, get one by the London Symphony Orchestra. You cannot go wrong, pretty much. Um, it's just the content was not particularly of interest to me. So. Then we're on to the other stuff. We have a remix EP by, I guess it's a group called Pops. Um, not my thing. It's not really ambient. It's a little bit too in-your-face to be ambient. And, you know, not in-your-face music, but you know, you know what I mean. Very, very dance clubby kind of stuff. Uh, just sounded a little too monotonous for my tastes. And then we have a uh, hip-hop album, Beyond People, uh, Waking the Systemites. Not bad. Again, just, you know, hip-hop, or at least this kind of hip-hop, is just not my thing. Unless something really grabs me about the music, I'm just not going to keep it. Not that it's not good music, you know. Then we have Nine Days Old, which is a... They're kind of a Celtic, uh, folk-influenced kind of band. Uh, it has to be a really good CD for me to, to get into the Celtic or Irish folk or that kind of stuff. Then we have a blues band called Indigenous. This is a live album. Not bad. I, I'm a, a mild to moderate fan of blues, but then, uh, you know, this was just not quite, uh, not really enough for me to want to keep. So I have a friend, a family friend, who seemed to express some interest in this. So this will be coming his way if, if Jeff wants to confirm if he wants it or not. Then we have a soundtrack to a movie called City of Industry. And this is um, a lot of R&B and uh, Massive Attack. It's well, what what genre are they? I, I can't think right now. I'm a little tired, but I thought I want to make a video uh, for you guys this weekend. But anyway, yeah, a lot of urban and um, techno house kind of that basic range of genres in this soundtrack. Again, not uh, enough to, for me to really want to keep it. I, I want to explore Massive Attack more because uh, 
the stuff that I've heard of them, the few things that I've heard of them, uh, I, I like the sound of. So I'll explore them a little bit further. Then we have Jody Watley's third album, uh, Affairs of the Heart. Not bad. It's just I have not been able to get into Jody Watley as much as I have uh, her contemporaries, other um, R&B divas from the late 80s, early 90s, like Paula Abdul and uh, Taylor Dane. I really like Taylor Dane. But yeah, Jody Watley, I have not quite been able to glom onto, so I am going to cast this one off. But the, uh, the final two are going to be Keepers, one of which will be my Spotlight CD coming up in a few minutes. So I'm only going to break down one more CD in here. This is absolutely ABC, the greatest hits of a, uh, an 80s pop band, one of the second or third tier pop bands to come out of the 80s. Not quite as well known as some of the bigger ones, but they had a lot of good hits in there, in their catalog. Uh, I actually have a Mill Millennium Collection, you guys have seen the Millennium Collection Best Of uh, series. I have the ABC volume of that, but I'm going to get rid of that one, and I'm keeping this one. It's got, it's got more tracks for one thing. Uh, but yeah, a f and a few remixes were tacked on to the end of this album. So yeah, I'm going to keep it. Good stuff. And boy, I breezed through that uh, little breakdown, didn't I? So let's go ahead and just tear on into the first of the two bargain bag CDs for the month of March 2020. I forgot to say what month this is at the intro. Even though you guys, when you're watching this and it's a new video, you're probably aware of what month it is, but still, you know. Anyway, the customary... I'm not too tired to remember this part. I did a video recently that I was too tired to give you guys the, to remember to give you guys the customary peekaboo. So you get to see what's in here before I do. So, starting off with the first one. Uh, is it pronounced pariah? It's P-A-R-I-A, -A, so it's mis it's misspelled if it's pronounced pariah. But, you know, it's going to be a stylized band name, I guess. And I assume that's the name of the band. Uh, Misanthropos is the the other word that's on the cover, if I don't know if that's the name of the band or the name of the album. So, never heard of these guys, so I will be curious to find out what it is. And we have, oh, the Osbournes, the the soundtrack from the Osbournes. Yeah, I watched the show for a while. It was uh, entertaining. It 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 ran its course pretty quickly for me, you know. But anyway, uh, I think this one actually was in another bargain bag. It's an EP by a band called Symposium, self-titled. And, uh, yeah, I cannot remember. It looks like a hard rock or industrial rock, if I remember correctly. And I don't remember, so I will find out. Then we have Marla Glenn. I have not heard of her, and this album is actually still sealed. I'm, I'm guessing R&B, perhaps hip-hop. Uh, just, just the feeling that I've got from it. So, yeah, I will be interested to listen to it as I always am with my bargain bag CD. Another still sealed CD, Wild Turkey, Stealer of Years. And this one is a mystery to me. I had never heard of Wild Turkey, uh, copyright 19, oh, 1996 and 1999. So maybe it's a, it was an independent and then they reissued it a few years later. I don't know. Just, I'm just guessing. And we have Monkey Walk uh, with their album More unless it's more with their album Monkey Walk. That's always the interesting thing. So with some of these CDs, I have no idea what the artist is and what the title is. So, And then something else I'm remembering to do in these videos that I sometimes don't remember to, the last CD in the bag, we have, oh, Rachmaninoff, a classical album by Ronald Brautigam. And I don't know if, if he's, I don't know if he's a piano, oh, Yes, it's right on here. Piano and clavier. Or maybe clavier is the Dutch word for something that goes by another name in English. Anyway, that's what that is. And now let's check out the Spotlight Bargain Bag CD for the month of March 2021. I think I might have said March 2020 earlier when I opened the first bag. That, that's what sleep depri deprivation does to you. Anyway, uh, those of you who were keeping score and have a good memory, uh, probably or may remember the CD that was not in my breakdown a few minutes ago, and this one may be a bit of a surprise to you. It certainly was a huge surprise to me how much I liked this album. It is definitely definitely a keeper. It is La Luna by Sarah Brightman. I, of course, have known about Sarah Brightman for years. I have never checked her stuff out, uh, or, or maybe I did. I just don't remember, and I just wasn't into the uh, classical crossover pop stuff back then. 
Uh, so I, but you know, this one, it's in your bargain bag, so you're going to listen to it, right? What the heck? Especially when I'm chained to my computer at home and I have nothing else to do but listen to music in the background. But yes, I was very, very uh, pleasantly surprised by this. And again, it may just be because that my music tastes have evolved over the last three, four, five years. But yeah, this this stuff was, is very, very nice. Um, the things that caught me the most uh, naturally were the cover tunes that she does here. She does a version of Scarborough Fair, which was made famous by Simon and Garfunkel, as well as A Wider Shade of Pale by Proclaharm. Remember, lack of sleep, be nice to me. Uh, and uh, a song on here called He Doesn't See Me. And I forgot to check, I can't remember if Sarah Brightman did it first or if a British boy band called A1 did it first. But uh, theirs was the version that I heard first, and I really, really enjoyed it. They did it under the title She Doesn't See Me. And it was a very, very nice ballad, so I don't know if it's even a traditional song. It might just be a traditional song. I don't know, but her rendition of it is gorgeous, just as gorgeous as A1's version was. That one really, really caught my ear on that album. But anyway, and she also does a version of Dido's Here With Me. Very, very nice as well. She does a great job on, on, well, on all the songs, but yeah, on the covers as well. And then uh, there was one more. Oh yeah, uh, the, the ending track, the closing track, La Luna, the title track, she incorporates Moon River the classic uh, Great American Songbook standard in there, which is, uh, again, a gorgeous rendition. And yes, she has a beautiful, beautiful voice, evidenced or corroborated, I guess you'd say, by her, what, eight, nine album discography? I mean, she's been around for years. She's been doing her thing for a long time, and uh, I actually like the CD so much that I actually ordered two of her other CDs. They, I found them on uh, for good prices on eBay, still sealed. So, um, and they're on their way to me now. So yeah, if wanting to order more albums by a bargain bag artist that I'd never heard before uh, is a sign that I really enjoyed it, then yes, I really enjoyed this one. So yeah, Sarah Brightman, La Luna, check it out. And now, gosh, the recording of this video is going really fast. I don't know what's, maybe I should do all my videos sleep deprived from now on. No, maybe that's not a good idea. Anyway, <laughs> I've only been in front of the camera for half an hour. And usually it takes me like two hours to record a video, so I I'm on a roll today. Sleep deprivation works for me sometimes. But anyway, enough jibber-jabber. The second of two mystery CD grab bags. Of course, it probably also has to do with the fact that I just plain friggin' love doing bargain bag videos. So, don't peek. I keep trying to tell I keep trying to remember, don't peek at the CDs until, because I want it to be a genuine reaction. But I will let you guys peek at them. The first one in this bag. I've got it oriented. Try to orient the bag so that I can pull it out and go like that, so I don't have to flip it around with my one hand. Club Kama Aina. I'm guessing that is how you pronounce that. Uh, it, it's stylized letter, so I don't even know if I'm reading it correctly. But uh, and I have no idea what this is. So it's an independent release. Uh, eight songs. Oh, one song is called Glasgow Sky. So I'm wondering if it is a Scottish. Group. We shall see. We have this one. I can't tell what the front and back is. Oh, Poi Dog Pondering. I've heard of this group, and in fact, I think I heard a song on a TV show, an old TV show that I watched on DVD recently. Uh, happened to be by Poi Dog, Poi Dog Pondering. I heard the song, didn't know who it was, and shazammed it, and that's who they were. But I think it is not on this album. But yeah, I've been wanting to check out Poi Dog Pondering very recently. This is an indie release because uh, they did a ma they had a major label stint, so I don't know if this is before or after their major label stint. So we'll see. Then we have Romantica, America, and I'm guessing Romantica is the name of the band because there was a rock band from the 70s and 80s called America, and I'm pretty sure this this ain't them. Oh, it's it looks like it is uh, Latin stuff because uh, a few of the songs are in. Uh, the titles are in Spanish, so I'm always up for Latin music. I need to expose myself to more Latin music. Then we have Scott Matthews, Passing Stranger. I'm sure I've heard of Scott Matthews before. Oh, this is a major label. He's from uh, Universal Republic. So, and oh gosh, 17 tracks. So I will be able to listen to Scott Matthews for the first time knowingly. I may have listened to him in passing and wasn't aware. Then we have How Home. That's, I, I'm seeing that from uh, the spine. The Listener is the name of the album. No idea. Copyright 2003, Thrill Jockey Records. Am I a Thrill Jockey? 
sometimes when I do this bargain bag, I'm kind of a thrill jockey because I never know what I'm going to be thrilled by in the bargain bags. That's a clumsy segue, wasn't it? Jeff Arundel, Walking in the Dark. Not sure what this is. Dancing Dad's Records. I like the name of that record label. I'm, I'm suspecting instrumental, uh, new age, contemporary jazz type of thing. That's just kind of the vibe that I get from the cover. That's one thing I like to do is try to guess what genre something is when I never heard of it. And then, finally, we have this bag. I'm trying to get it as close to the going over the camera without it actually hitting the camera lens as I can. One of these days I'll get that. Larry Stewart, Down the Road. I'm guessing this is a country album, but I'm not sure. So we will find out soon, sometime within the next month, I guess. And just like that, Bargain Bag is over again. It's over way too quickly. Maybe I need to do three bags. Oh, actually, I think I am. Uh, I think I've decided just so that I don't have two bags that I haven't broken down until 2022, what I think I'm going to do is next month and probably also August, I'm going to do a bargain bag and a half. So I'm going to do three bags so that the number of bags is done by the end of November, I think it's going to be. But anyway, uh, yes, yeah, so I, I think I'll do a, a supersized, I think I'll call it, bargain bag for April and August. So look forward to that unless I change my mind, which uh, I have every right to do since it's my channel. But anyway, to avoid this video getting any longer, that'll do it for my bargain bag for the month of March 2021. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, hit that like button and share it with your friends, and give me your thoughts, questions, suggestions, or constructive criticisms in the comment section below. Also, scroll down to the description for the links to my Twitter and Instagram feeds, and links to my favorite fellow YouTubers who are all worth checking out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and browse my past videos, and be sure to ring that notifications bell so you'll be the first to know each time I drop a new video. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time, and remember, life's too short to be a music snob.